In this film, we're going to tell you what to expect when you have a PET CT scan. A PET CT scan is a powerful scanning method which uses very low levels of radiation to provide detailed information about the inside of your body. This information can reveal certain medical conditions, helping a diagnosis to be made without a person having to undergo more complicated or uncomfortable procedures. A PET CT scan works by taking hundreds of pictures, each of which is a slice through the body. The pictures make a stack which reveals the three-dimensional interior of the body. The scan actually combines two types of pictures or scans in a computer. The CT scans show physical structures inside the body using x-rays. The PET scans show activity levels of cells inside the body using a radioactive sugar solution which is injected into your arm. Active tissues take up more of the radioactive sugar and glow with brighter colours on the PET images. The PET and CT slices combine to make a combined view of the whole body's interior. The hospital's scanning department will contact you with details of your appointment and will send you any necessary written information. You'll need to sign a consent form before your procedure. A nurse or doctor will go through this with you and you can ask as many questions as you like. They'll want to know if you've had radiotherapy, chemotherapy or surgery within eight weeks of the appointment date for your scan or if you are pregnant. You must avoid strenuous activity for 12 hours before your appointment and must not eat or drink anything except plain water for 6 hours before your appointment time. Although the dose of radiation is very low, pregnant women and small children should not come to the scanning department. You should plan on spending two to three hours in the scanning department. You'll be asked to change into a hospital gown and remove any jewellery or metal objects. A tiny plastic tube will be inserted into a vein in your arm using a needle and a small blood sample taken to measure your blood sugar level. If your blood sugar level is normal, the procedure can go ahead. A very low dose of radioactive sugar will then be injected into your vein through the small plastic tube. You may also be given an injection of a solution called contrast if your scan requires this. You'll be asked to sit in a private room for about 50 minutes to allow the radioactive sugar and any contrast you might have been given to spread around your body. You'll be asked to empty your bladder before going through to the scanner room. In the scanner room, you'll be asked to get on the scanner bed. The radiographer will usually put a support block under your legs before asking you to lie down on your back. To ensure your head is kept still during the scan, straps will be placed across your forehead and chin. You'll usually be asked to raise your arms above your head, although some people need to have their arms on their tummy. The radiographer will control the scanner from a separate room, but you'll be able to speak to them at all times. The couch will move slowly back and forth through the scanner taking images for about 30 minutes. You'll be asked to lie as still as possible throughout the scan so that the clearest possible images can be obtained. People's experiences of PET CT scans vary. The scan is not painful, but it can be uncomfortable due to staying still. Tell your radiographer if you feel uncomfortable or have any concerns. You can ask them to keep you informed of progress during your scan. You can ask for blankets, and music is often available. Some people find using meditation or yoga techniques can help them relax. After your PET CT scan, you may leave the department and eat and drink normally. PET CT scanning is safe. The radiation dose from a PET CT scan is very low and goes away naturally very quickly. It doesn't make you feel unwell, and any risk is far outweighed by the benefits of earlier and more accurate detection or assessment of disease. Rarely, a little radioactive sugar or contrast may leak out of the vein in your arm, which can cause some swelling and discomfort. If this happens, your nurse or doctor will provide first aid and any discomfort will quickly settle. Following your scan, your doctor will arrange to meet you at a later date to discuss the findings from it. 
If you have any questions or concerns about any aspect of your PET-CT scan, you should contact your hospital.